What is up, guys? Welcome back to the BND Log YouTube channel. I uh, I appreciate you guys watching. We're almost to 100 subscribers, and well, we actually we might be there now. I haven't looked since last night, and uh, to me, you know, there's not very many, but to me, that's pretty cool. Considering the fact the very first video I ever posted, I just I just posted it really to uh, you know just to go back and watch. Not really hoping to get any kind of views or anything, but. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys are liking them, you know, uh, and be honest with me, I mean, leave, leave comments if there's things that you guys would rather see or, you know, if, just comment anything, really, I, I enjoy reading them quite a bit. Uh, anyway, so today's plan is, it's not about 10 o'clock, it's kind of later than what I'd like, but the truck drivers were, I think he had something else to haul first thing this morning before he got to me, so uh, anyways, we got the gravel skitter on now. And I wanted a job to go cut, and I wasn't going to cut this job until later on this fall. But uh, due to some circumstances that the uh, landowner has going on, uh, I'm not going to get into that a whole lot. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and cut it now. I just I bumped up the percentage a little bit, you know, so her end money is really going to be about the same whether I cut it now or this fall. And uh, to me, it's still much better than going to cut, you know, pallet. Uh, I picked up 200 big ash and maple the other day just to the south of us here and then I have a oak job with it has maybe about half a semi load of walnut but uh, it'll mostly just be chinkapin which is the Kansas white oak they'll buy it for state logs if it's clean enough um, and, and these ones are but uh, we, we don't have any white oak in the part of Kansas out in here so yeah, and it's, it's really hilly terrain, and, you know, here in Kansas, it's pretty flat most times, so going to Cat in the Hills, that'll be kind of neat. Uh, I'll film some of that for sure. But, uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe if you're enjoying the videos, and, uh, yeah, let's get after it. Well, guys, I just uh, went to go get lunch, and on our way back now, and uh, looks like we got a pretty good front coming in out of nowhere. I mean, it went from sunshine to it's, it's pretty dark. The uh, phone makes it look a hell of a lot lighter than what it really is. But uh, I can see it raining off to the south of me here. So I guess we'll head back to Timber and see what it does. It's not looking like a very big sail on the radar, but uh, it's definitely definitely got some hints of yellow red in it. So we'll wait it out. fun at all I got the skitter up there to the top of the hill it's pouring its ass off and by the time I get in the truck it stopped it I ran far enough to get soaked poured on me over there I almost got hit by lightning once not shaping up to be a good day but uh, the ground's still hard so I'll stay, stay here and wait to see if it stops Cutting lots of nice big trees on this job, but uh, 
I haven't had really any time to set my phone up for me filming to cut them down. The two best trees on the job are cut they're in the pile, but the, probably got the third or fourth best one here about to go knock down. It, uh, it's a slammer, don't get me wrong. It's a pretty damn good size tree. But, uh, finally got a little break away from Skitter Man here. So, uh, I should be able to get this thing on the ground. It don't look very big, but, uh, it's a pretty good size chunk right there. So, yeah, let's put it on the ground. It took it a second, but it finally went. There's a 500 with a 25 inch bar on it. That one there, it's a brute. Cut two other, just a hair bigger than this. But, uh, Glad I got to film at least one of these. Got another one not too far behind this tree. Right there to cut. Tall sucker.
Okay, guys, what you're about to see me here do, not something I typically do. I'm pretty, you know, respectful to my equipment. My equipment is what makes me money. But uh, here I was, I'm hot, frustrated, nothing's going right. Then the uh, chain got stuck in the sprocket here. And, you know, sometimes Saul just binds them up. So keep in mind, I was already pretty aggravated. I don't typically treat my saws like this, but it is what it is. Oh. Uh -huh. 